37 The story of Sky Mountain Lodge Hills within the land called the Changers Church Valley. Reservation. The only difference between all of the Sky Mountain Lodge is their last names. They are only about 10 miles apart for a reason. They are all hunting, fishing, and ice fishing within this area. The only thing is some of these sports are only available in the summertime. Of course ice fishing is one in the winter. What we do is from the main office when one of the cities gets full we send them to one of the other cities. So there is four of them all alike so if someone wants to go fishing or hunting or camping we can send them to the right city that has space for them. This way we have within all four cities we have 800 rooms to fill. We put in a 60-room hotel for all the employees to stay in and this means that in the big hotel we have up to 200 rooms available all the time year-round. The population of Sky Mountain Lodge Hills has 100 residents and about half are retired and only work part-time. The city has only one big building with a hotel that has 200 rooms, a 60-room dinner in the Change our church main office church, council, court, jail, church school, county school and city hall, general store, laundry mat, barber's shop, hairdresser, small hospital, dentist, movie theater, gospel music, dance hall. The reason for the one big building is that it gets really cold here in the winter time. It gets down below 40 below sometimes and no one is let outside when it gets below 20 below. For if you get stuck out there you will be frozen to death. So when everything is within one building we can heat the whole building and keep everyone warm. And safe. I got here in the summer for in the winter if they have problems with someone they send them to. The main office in Tone Diddle. Then send them back when everything is taken care of. But where it is summer I can go there and check out the city within the city. What is there is great big mall with four floors and very few windows. For the cold comes in the windows so we have limited the windows and even the size of the windows. It is about noon now and it is time for dinner. I made my way to the dinner and it seems to be kind of full. I know it only has 60 seats so they have to set up with everyone on what time they eat here. When I got in there I went up to the front desk and once they see me they said we have a table just for you. They took me right beside the main office and there was one chair and table it seems just for me. They said we know that you are going to be here today and we set this up just for you. I said thank you very much and I ordered what I wanted and it was not long when they bring it to me. I sat and ate, and when I got done I said thank you to everyone and went to the church office. When I got there it seems like everyone was there and said can you come with us. I said okay and they took me into this good size room and had me get up front and they wanted me to tell them updates on what is going on within all the other towns and just general news. It was kind of good that I brought the church newspaper with me and I gave them out to everyone. That was there and I left more so if anyone else wanted on they can have one. Then I talked for almost 20 minutes and then said it is time to go to the courthouse and get ready for court. I went to the courthouse and when I got there it seemed like everyone that was there was out front to greet me. I shook everyone's hand and went to my office. All the files was there so I went through them and it seems like just about every one of those could have gone to the main office and they would have taken care of it there. Just about everyone here will go to the main office for retraining. For some reason some of these got through the system without training at all. Then I realized it was the children of the ones here. After court I went to both schools and wanted to see the courses that they have. The one course that was not there was church law in the training book that we have. I wonder if they even have any. I said you have the church law book with all the rules. They said we do not have any for it seems we never got any. I said all you had to go is go online and order the books they are free of charge. 
They said okay we will order them and add that class to our schools. Then I said everyone that is here will have to take the class to in or given a book to study. Then do the test that is in the back of the book and then turn it into the church school and then grade it and put on their profile online. Everyone has a profile online and once they use the card everything is updated on their card. We do have some small cabins by the lakes. Streams so if it gets cold you can get out the cold and get warm. For they all have wood stoves in them and we make sure every one of them have wood year round. You never know if someone gets caught out in the cold and need a place. They are all within a half a mile apart or closer. I guess it is time to say goodbye for now and we will see you in the next town.